Burley So. Hello everybody and welcome back to Burley So. I'm your host Purified and today we are going to learn how to wind a bobbin on the Brother SE400 embroidery and sewing machine. The first thing you're going to need is an empty bobbin. Make sure it's the right size for your machine. If it's not the right size, uh, the machine may not operate correctly. So just make sure that you have the correct size. You can consult your owner's manual. Um, so here's my empty bobbin. And you can't see it very well in the video, but there's a channel inside the bobbin where it slides over the bobbin shaft. And the channel lines up on a little spring. And I'll show you uh, the spring here, right there. And it just slides over the top and that allows it to lock in place. So basically just slide it down. You don't have to line it up right away because all, all you have to do is just give it a little twist and it, it snaps right into place on this machine. So it's not going anywhere, it's fixed into place. And now we're ready to go ahead and uh, start winding our bobbin. Next, I'll show you how to run the thread. There's, there's a diagram right on the machine that shows you how to do this. And basically, you're gonna just run it through the thread guide as you would if you were threading the needle. It's used for both. One thing that I didn't know was that this goes underneath the thread guide cover, which is right next to my hand there. Um, I kind of skipped that on this. So I went straight to the pretensioner. There's a little wheel here that the thread slides underneath and it acts as a tensioner or a drag. So when the winding begins, um, there's a perfect tension on there that keeps your feed even as you're winding the bobbin. Next, we're gonna take the thread back over to the right towards the bobbin winder. You're gonna to wanna to have a few inches extra of thread because you're gonna to wanna to wind it around. But you take the thread back, and here, I'll tilt the machine a little bit so you can see better. And there's even a diagram right there below the bobbin. Um, but you're gonna to wanna to take the, the thread and load it off of the back far side of the bobbin and you're going to wind it around six times so three four five and six take your thread to the thread cutter on the bottom give it a little tug and there's your extra thread nice clean bobbin ready to start winding now that we have the bobbin started the next piece we're going to take a look at is the bobbin winding presser which is right to the right of the bobbin here right there and it's just a smooth, flat metal head that presses up against the bobbin when it's slid over and it'll either stop or slow down the bobbin when it gets full and then you know that you're done. I mentioned sliding the bobbin to the right and here's what that looks like. Basically just take the bobbin and you pull it over to the right and it tightens up the thread and you're ready to go. You can see down here that the light is amber and that's different than when it's not activated, which is red. And I've shown this in other videos where if it's in the, if the start button's red, you can't start the stitch or the bobbin winding. So you slide it over, amber, and we're ready to go. I use the manual speed control, the slider on the front here, as I've shown in other videos. Um, that controls the speed of the bobbin winding as well. So I like to keep it in the middle. I find it's a good speed and we make sure everything's all set up here. The light's amber, that means that my spool slid over to the right. I've got my speed set in the speed that I like, and we're ready to start winding the bobbin. Basically, just hit the start button on the left here. You'll get a message on the display that shows that the um, bobbin is winding the thread on, and you can see the, the bobbin spinning there going up and down in a nice uniform fashion. It'll fill in any low gaps. Um, and as the spool fills up, it'll press against the presser on the right hand side there and it'll slow down or stop. And then you know that it's time to hit the, the stop button and you're done winding your bobbin. So we'll let it fill up here. You can see it's starting to slow down and it stopped uh, for the most part because of the presser there. 
Now I'll just basically hit the button and stop that function and we've got a wound bobbin. Next you're just going to push the bobbin to the left, pop it off, you either cut it with the scissors or you can take it over to the left hand side to the thread cutter and you've got a perfectly wound bobbin ready to go for whatever project you're going to start. That's it folks, thanks for watching the how to wind a bobbin on the Brother SE400 embroidery and sewing machine. I've been your host Purified. Please leave your comments below. If you like what you see, please subscribe to the channel. And thanks for tuning in to Burley Sew. So.